Rob's Roundtable! What's up? Feeling uh, a little under the weather. He's under the weather. Being honest. Uh, He's going to give me COVID. But right? Yeah. It's worth it. It's you gotta you gotta pay the price to give the people what they deserve. Give the people what they want. All right, running back, hot takes. Hansel, so hot right now. Hansel. See here, we're getting spicy up in here. Couple things for you per use. Uh, okay. Podcasting turned twenty years old this week. No way. Yeah, really? only twenty. Doesn't it seem like it's been around forever? Not really. I was real late to the game of paying attention to podcasts. Yeah, so. and joining one. Yes. But uh, so the weird thing is, is that you could have sex with it. Legally, but you can't buy a drink. Nope. It's that weird thing of like 18s fine. Weird for that. Middle ground. Yeah. It can go to the military. I hate that part, man. You can go die for you your country. You can die for your country. You now you can't even get tobacco. I think everything should be the same age. I, I got ID'd it. for cigarettes the other day. That's crazy. With this facial yeah. hair and this belly. I'm like, go fuck yourself. Uh, well, we're, we're kind of partying here. So, and I had my wallet in my car. Yeah. I'm like, dude, you really need it? You really gonna make me go in my wallet? car? I was like, 88. And like, I look at the sign, it says 2002. Yeah. Like, come on. If it was booze, maybe. But come on. Tobacco? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Nah. I think you should get hit with everything all at once. Like, at 18 or 20 or whatever it is. Everything. Something, yeah. Porn, tobacco, yeah. alcohol. But you can drive military. a car at 16. It's nope. all out of Push that out, crazy. man. There you That's go. That's push back, too. Uh, do you watch The Bachelor or Bachelorette at all? No, I don't pay oh. any attention. I love it. I love it. I, I got what so guilty pleasures. In. Yeah. Well, Erica was uh, got me into it, and now like, I'm pushing her to watch it. Yeah. It's season 20. So, but it's season 20. Every year, they're like... This is a bachelorette or bachelor season unlike any other. So, I want to say, this is a podcast unlike any other. This hot take episode, what do you think about that? I like it. Oh, wait, it's going to be football and dick talk. Willie, are you saying there's something wrong with my gear? Is that what you're saying to me? I'm sorry, your gear? Well, my fuck stick. <laughs> I mean, but it's unlike any other podcast out there, but it's going to be sure a typical is. episode from us. Let's go, man. Running back hot takes here. Last year, here's my running back hot takes just to kind of give the audience something. Recap. Recap. Uh, I had Miles Sanders as a top 10 running back. Miles Sanders would be a top 10 running back. Uh, this is in PPR. Now, did not hit that. He finished at RB14, but he was going RB27. Yeah, so 14 is quite a bit higher than 27. You win. Yeah. For me, it's almost like if you go in the middle of the hot take and where they're going, if you get closer to your hot take, that's a win. Obviously, we want to hit the hot take. Yeah. But I go bold on mine. And I was going to say, you don't need to make them uh, that hot. And yeah. Would uh, next one, I had Saquon, Saquon Barkley, top three running back. Uh, Saquon Barkley, top three running back in PPR this year. That dude is so um, good. He was getting drafted RB11. He finished RB5. So, again, not hitting the number I said. Yeah. Did miss, what, one and a half games? But Did right there. Dude's a steal at 11 last year. Ramondre Stevenson. I had 12 touchdowns slash top 18 running back. Uh, 12 touchdowns. Um, and wow. uh, I have that as a top 18 running back. Yeah. Pair with that. This one uh, he is going RB35, 110 ADP. Yeah. Which I don't know why I had 12 touchdowns in top 18, but either way, he f was drafted at RB28 last year. He finished at RB7. So I did. he only had eight touchdowns total. But like regardless, he destroyed his ADP. So again, I'm gonna call that a win, man. So you're like, taking him at RB10 this year? That's tough. We'll maybe talk about that later. Okay. Uh, and the last one I had, this was kind of a miss. Travis Etienne, top six running back. Travis Etienne, top six running back in PPR. Back. He was drafted at yeah, 17. It was a misuse, is what it was. Yes, he finished at 16. So he still beat his ADP a little bit, yeah. and I think that was mostly because James Robinson had that awesome six-game stretch for no reason. Then they trade him, and then he's no good and anywhere what? ever, and he's already cut from so, the third team. Since I'm just, he's left I there. think that should have been ETN's work there, right? If you add that, there it is. It's a hit. But I don't know what they were doing there. So I don't know. I did pretty well. My wide receiver ones in the next episode, I did not do very well on. Sounds like we're doing some but, algebra with that math with ETN. Yeah, and yeah Robinson yeah. A plus B <laughs> equals this. That's, what do you got? Spiciest one. What is it? Fifty fifth running back overall uh, on on underdog. Yeah. Uh, Jamal Williams. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm saying he's going to have five RB one finishes this year. Really? Yeah. You know about Jamal Williams and the Lions? Yeah. Huh. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, what, what is that? Uh, why? No idea what we're going to say. Nope. Uh, I'm going to let you kick it off here, buddy. All right. I'm going to I'm going to go with. Uh, J.K. Dobbins is my first one. I have him, too. I was afraid we'd overlap. But All right. Let's we, see how hot you want to go. Guys, uh, right now on, on NFFC, his ADP is 59. He's the 19th overall running 19th back. 19th overall. And he's going to be an RB1. 
Mm. I was going to say top 10. Uh, I think Lamar dials it back a little bit. I think he's a workhorse. Uh, I've talked about it on previous pods. I don't got to beat it up, but um, he's an RB1. He's a steal everywhere right now. And we joke around. He's a peg leg. Uh, you want to hear my hot take? Yeah. Top six, top six running back. Dobbins. Dude. Woo. You want me to tell you why? It is possible. I'll give it to you. You just got uh, a little more bigger cojones. I'm gonna, I'm gonna convince you why you're gonna upgrade. And after this, after this argument, you're gonna change. Ready? You know what his career yards per carry is? I know it's a limited sample size, right? A year and like a half. Not yeah. even. It's like 15 starts. You know what it is? 5.2. 5.9. Okay. Now I know it's not many carries. The all-time leader in yards per carry is Jamal Charles at 5.4. There has been eight running backs ever to average over five yards a carry for their career. Granted, these are bigger samples. Yeah. We're and talking about five, 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 two. Anything over five, five is a big number. Nine. Yeah. And here's the list real quick. Jamal Charles, Nick Chubb, Jim Brown, Mercury Morris, Aaron Jones, Jonathan Taylor, Gail Sayers, and Barry Sanders. Uh, I thought you were going to tell me Corey Dillon was on that list. He's uh, It's a tragedy. He's been snubbed from the Hall oh, of Fame. Oh, yeah. Corey He's Dillon. all worked up about it. Yeah. I'm not a big yards per carry guy, but I, when I see 5.9 and this offense, best offensive line, actual weapons, better offensive coordinator, come on, man. Like, if he does bad for what he's done, it's going to be 5.5 or even 5.0. Give me five yards of carry. Yeah. Give me the work. Give me 220 carries. So Lamar dialing back the running, I don't think hurts. No, because it's always a threat. Yes. You know, it's opens still, up the lane. Yeah, lanes. the threat is still there, so you're still going to have the yards per carry. And if he can actually throw downfield and open it up even more rather than nine in the box against Baltimore. Yeah. Um, if Dobbins is healthy, if his knee is good, which it seemed to be at the end of last year, right? He had a little hiccup in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Um, but looks good to me. Looked good at Ohio State. Yeah. The, the kid can run. Yeah, and he needs his contract, right? He, he's already clamoring for one. He, yeah, he hasn't earned one, about it. but he needs it yeah. this year, right? One other last thing here is he's caught 25 of 32 career targets. I like that. Okay. Give me 40 targets. Give me 30 catches. Yeah. Touchdown upside. Yards per carry. Love it. Did I convince you to make it top six with me? I'd go That's 10. Palsy. I'd go 10. Okay. Better than top 12? Though. Yes, it is. You, uh, I'd inched up a little. Okay. My next one here. This one's really spicy. Antonio Gibson okay. will finish as an RB1 in full PPR. In full PPR. Just in full. McKissick's gone, right? McKissick's gone. Eric Bieniemy is there. Yeah. Uh, that combination is amazing. Antonio Gibson is 24 years old. He has 21 touchdowns in three years, quietly. And it was 11, then four, then three, or it was 11, seven, then three. So last year was a little disappointing, even though he had a decent, like, he had 46 catches, right? Um, so his last... Well, with McKissick last year. Yeah, and here's his catch totals throughout the years. 36, 42, 46, up every year. He was always known to be a raw prospect, even though he's a wide receiver at Memphis in college. Uh, I just... I kind of, I just see him taking over the role, man. Yeah. Like, Brian Robinson's solid. He's fun. Great story. Banger. Boring. They're going to be bad. This is a bank on them being bad. He's a playmaker. They need playmakers. I see them having four wins. I see them running Antonio Gibson, giving him, like, the Alvin Kamara role, if that makes any sense. Yeah. And if he can take the goal line work, I don't know if he's going to take the goal line work, but when it's third and four from the eight, who's playing? It's going to be him. When they're down by 14 points, who's playing? It's going to be Gibson. Who's a dynamic player? That's why it's a hot take, but I love Gibson. He's going RB32. That's hot, man. That's 20 spots above where he's going, and I think he can go top eight. I'm just saying RB1, baby. Okay. Okay, and full PPR. Full PPR. What do you got? Um, My next one is uh, currently going 26 running back overall, uh, 76 ADP. It's Javante Williams. Mm. Hearing good things out of camp. Uh, you saw how highly he was drafted last year. Uh, uber talented dude. I think the only reason you're getting him where you are is because of the, the fear of the injury. Um, I think he's going to be all right. Everything you're hearing, seeing says he's fine. I'm banking on it with this hot take of uh, he's going to be an RB one. He's going to jump from 26 into the top 12, and it's uh, that's a league winner in my opinion. Right yes. There. What is he at again? 26 overall. Yeah, like 95 overall, man. Yeah, 76 is what it says here on ADP, but either way. Underdog, I think it's mostly because of the best ball format. He's yeah. going 94. Yeah, and I've been insane. scooping him up just because yeah. it's early, and if the reports come out, he's going to go down to 75, where you're talking about, yep. for best ball. But if they I mean, come out, you're talking good, about a ninth round pick. Who gives yeah. a shit? I got him in quite a few best balls, too. I like that. That's spicy. Uh, next one here AJ Dillon. I love these like mid, early round running back, you know, fourth, fifth, sixth round. AJ Dillon, top 15 running back. Uh, he is going RB35. 
Okay. So uh, he is durable, I have written down here. He's played almost every game, I think every game of his career. Granted, he hasn't been worked in that much, but the last two years, 186 and 187 carries and 43 and 37 targets. So I know that's not crazy work in the passing game, but for uh, you know, it's way more than Derrick Henry got. And these bigger guys take a little bit to develop. Yeah. I don't think he's the prospect that we were sold coming out, but he's better. He's a load, man. And, like, this team is more ground and pound, has to be, hide the quarterback a little bit, good defense. I just see the path of maybe they'll finally just exclusively use him on the goal line in terms of early downs. Um, it's going to be a 50-50 split. Aaron Jones has a lot of wear on those tires. He's injury prone. This isn't even banking on Aaron Jones getting injured because uh, A.J. Dillon's finished as like 22 and 24 the last couple of years. And Dillon's been a premier handcuff because mm-hmm. of that, right? He does well. You can use him on Play a bye up. week even if there's no injury there. If the injury happens, the, the term league winner jumps into my head again. Right. Um, the Tony Pollard thing for the with, last couple of years. Yeah, and with Jones, uh, what, running back 16? Yeah. I think I'd take the shot on the other guy. They're both going to get their work. I think mm-hmm. Jones finished is right there is, is no question either at 16. I mean, I'd have I got no issue right. with him because, like you said, they're going to want to hide the quarterback. Um, it's the division they're in doesn't have the toughest defenses. You know, Bears are getting a little bit better. Um, Lions are good, but yeah. Vikings defense I'm not concerned with at all. So. He's almost going RB four range, dude, and like RB thirty five. Dude, that's I crazy. Mean, like he is like the perfect RB three in your team if you wait a little bit too because yeah. bye week play him. Uh, upside of injury, upside of him taking a leap, the offense being good, that's upside. There's all upside. There's no negatives. He doesn't get hurt. Yeah. Love it, dude. Uh, what do you got? I've got that same logic as Dylan. This isn't one of my hot takes, but this same logic applies to Eli Mitchell. Um, mm-hmm. But the injury is a concern there where Dylan it's not. Right. right. Uh, but next, he's going so late. Yeah, I mean. exactly. Next one, uh, running back 48 overall, 146 ADP is going to be an RB2. That's how high this guy's going to go. He's going from 48. Tell me who it is. Cut it in half. Top 24. Yeah. Yep. Tank Bigsby. Ooh, okay. Anti-ETN tank. A little bit. A little bit. Because the way they used ETN last year, I think, is going to be the same. It's going to be between the 20s. And and ETN's not going to see the work anywhere in the red zone. Um, I don't know he's going to get as much early down work. I hope they start passing to him. And I hope it's both of these guys share the load. But I think Tank comes way up. And I think ETN comes down. And it levels out a lot more than what anybody thinks. But you can't know what these coaches are going to do. Because what they did last year. That's a... That's interesting. What they did last year made no sense. And uh, I wanted to do something crazy bold, and that was it. The rookie running back in Jacksonville. And that's not counting injury, correct? That's saying that's just it, basic dude. That's role. it. Wow. Okay. He's, he's going to make it up to 24. That's bold. Uh, next one here, going back to the well. Miles Sanders, I have 60 catches. Um, and I have RB1 and PPR. Now he's going RB22 right now. Uh, he had 50 catches his rookie year, and they all of a sudden thought he wasn't a receiver, even though he is a receiver. Yeah. And in this offense, with Bryce Young, rookie quarterback, check the ball down, he's going to f- see the field. My only worry for him is Chuba Hubbard, but I feel like that's more of a goal line concern. I think so. It's a not, touchdown he's, concern. I like Chuba as a player. He's very raw, and he's just not like – he's the opposite of a coach's pet, right? He but just when's does Carolina going to be up pounding the ball, dude? Never. Yeah. So, Miles Sanders is going to see the field. Solid enough in pass pro. Mm-hmm. Played on a championship team last year. You know, almost championship team last year. Pedigree. All those things. They paid him. That man's going to see the field. Should be one of the veteran leaders in that locker room. Uh-huh. You paid him for a reason. Yep. 60 catches. Yep. You know, still eight touchdowns, 1,200 yards rushing, all those things, I like man. it. I like it. I mean, it's not even that hot, though. That's, like, not as hot for me because he's going RB 2022. But uh, you got another one? I do. Uh, I got one more on here. And we've talked about this guy uh, in, in the deep sleeper. We shared him. And uh, I'm feeling a little ballsy with this one, too. So, uh, ranked 70th running back overall right now. Uh, ADP of 234 for Ty Chandler. Yeah. You want to know what my hot take is? Finishes higher than Madison in fantasy this year. That is nice, Outscores Alexander Madison in fantasy. So, that essentially is saying RB2, then. Unless they're both RB3s. Either way, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But... Yeah, I don't RB care how it shakes dude. out. Yeah. The fact that you took RB70, he's at least going to be a three. I mean, if there's injury, I'm not going to toot my own horn too much on right. this. But if there's no injury and he's hey, even close. So part of it. Woo. Hot. It. That is. Hot. My last one, I say this one, it's it's kind of hot. It's weird. Nick Chubb, RB1 overall, and I have by a landslide. <laughs> it's a landslide. Okay. I have 50 catches for Nick Chubb. With no now, harm? 
yeah, no hunt, 50 catches. It's also tied into a Deshaun Watson bounce back. The Nick Chubb role we've seen him have. He was on the list of when I talked about the uh, all-time yards per carry leader. He is number two. Yeah, Nick Chubb is a monster. He's a beast, dude. Uh, they the call him the talented. fright, uh, the fright train, right? Because he's scary, man. Yep. He breaks long runs. He's great in space. He's also a banger. He has decent hands. I feel like he's going to get a full three-down look finally, as much as you can. This. This day and age, yeah, because who else is there? It's Jerome Ford, and I'm drawing a blank on the other running back there. Right uh, it's the the little pipsqueak uh, scat back guy. So is he going to take the pass work or no? No, that guy sucks. So, like, it's Jerome Ford. And, like, Dearness, he's raw. Dearness Do, Johnson? No, he's gone. Oh, he's gone. It's, it's uh, Demetric Felton. Oh, okay. That guy sucks. Felton. Yeah, he sucks. So I also have 20 touchdowns. The back of 20 touchdowns, it's going to be a Todd Gurley year. Okay, that's what I'm okay. saying. Okay. Calling Todd Gurley year where it's a landslide. So the RB1's hot. I'm saying like two to three fantasy points per game above yeah. the second guy. It's definitely possible. You're it is. On, like you said, counting on the Watson bounce back. But to have Eli Mitchell mm-hmm. and Amari Cooper there with DPJ, like you've got three good receivers. Uh, they have a good old line. Uh, it's definitely doable. There's no one that's going to threaten yep. Chubb on that team for that work or for those touches. I completely agree, man. I see it. I got a, I got a different running back getting 20 touchdowns this year. Who's My that? head, though. Over 2,000 yards, McCaffrey. over 20 touchdowns. Yep. You homer. <laughs> but you just said Eli Mitchell. I know, and I like Mitchell, just too. All of all the Niners run. players. All run, dude. It's all uh, I'm do. Run. And just one last thing about Chubb for you players out there. Don't be scared of him in full PPR this year. People like weigh him down, and same with Derrick Henry, right? But when you're that good at running, it ends up not mattering. They don't have the upside for RB1 when they have 30 catches. But this year, I'm telling you, maybe not 50, he's going to have 42. Yeah. Which no one gets 100 anymore besides Eckler. He's good. He's going to be top 12 in catches. When you put Nick Chubb in top 12 in catches, he's not losing that value in PPR What's as much. What's Henry got recently in catches? Uh, like two a game. So last okay. year he had 33. Yeah. They missed a couple games. I'm saying, but this is Nick Chubb, who's better than Derrick Henry. Better offense. Let's fucking go. It's Damian Harris. He's going down to running back 40, ADP like 116th overall right now, which is insane to me. He's supposed to share the work with Cook. I don't see it. I didn't see it last year out of Cook. He's not an every down back. He's not a banger. Uh, mm-hmm. Singletary's obviously gone. They want to run Allen less. Uh, I say he's an RB2. Um, I, I could make the the statement top twenty easily. I as said well. top twenty. Okay. Um, and we've talked about Damian Harris. We're gonna brush over this. My only concern, honestly, just reading about this, I forgot. Naeem Hines is there, and they like him, but they like using him as a, a returner. But I like Naeem Hines. That's the problem is if he gets all the third down work, and then it's him and James Cook splitting first and second down, but he's still going to beat his ADP. That's my concern for the hot yeah. take, right? I, I think Cook's the change of pace guy and on third down and on early down work. I think they sprinkle him on both of those, so you don't know what that offense is going to do. Yeah. You can't look and, oh, this running back's out. We know what they're doing. They're going to have him. They're going to move him. Oh, Rob's round table. Love it. And it's been a complete joy. That kid is back on the escalator again. That's criminal. That kid... That kid is back on the escalator again. Leave it alone. What?